somebody asked me, so can you belong to more than one distribution company at the same time? Thank you for that question on my YouTube again. The answer is... It was good. My name is Jayhawk. I'm a music producer from Los Angeles, California. You are watching Flight in Progress, where I give out information to independent music producers, independent artists, and everyone in between who's trying to navigate the music industry. Uh, first thing first, follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash Jayhawk Productions. I get a lot of questions every day on all my social media accounts, so uh, so I wrote some of them out. You guys can always ask me questions. I'll uh, try to answer as much as I can, as much as I know. So let's get into it. You know, questions are good. This is from my uh, YouTube. This user asked, do we need to upload our music on DistroKit first or YouTube first? First of all, thank you for that question. It's really up to you but these days I will kind of upload to DistroKid first because you can track your YouTube views now. Your, uh, your YouTube play count, any all that you could track it from record one versus if you put your music on YouTube, there's a good chance if your record starts taking off, you might miss some, some plays, you might miss some streams. And I feel like as an independent musician, you need every little stream every all of it counts even ten dollars like that's that's a uh in some cars that's half a tank of gas or a quarter tank or something you know what i'm saying so I, I want you to get all your money so if you have a release and it's planned and you plan to put it on spotify and, and all that stuff i would definitely drop it on distro care first and then upload it to YouTube. Have the YouTube link ready to go, but make sure you start uh, collecting your streams from day one. Thank you for that question again. The next question I have is also from my YouTube. Somebody asked me, so can you belong to more than one distribution company at the same time? Thank you for that question on my YouTube again. The answer is yes, you can. You are your own boss, so you when it comes to music distribution companies, all they are trying to do is distribute your music. Your music is whatever you decide to give to them. If you have 10 songs and you only wanna decide to put out three and you wanna use three different distributors, it's up to you. You know, you're, you're testing whatever works for you. So to answer that question, yes, you can be involved with Infinity. It doesn't matter, you know, you can do your thing. This, this next question is from uh, Instagram. Somebody asked me, would I still need BMI if I go with TuneCore for my distributor? Yes, you need your BMI, ASCAP, and CSAC are performing rights organizations. So they help you get paid mainly when your music gets on a TV show, a, uh, a film, or the radio, and a bunch of other places, but those are the main places. But Yes, you still need to register with BMI as a songwriter and a publisher, even if you're with TuneCore or DistroKid or whatever. It has nothing to do with each other. So um, to answer your question, yes, make sure you still make that BMI account. The next question on Instagram is, if I have my song uploaded on... Oh, I have my song uploaded under the wrong artist. Have you had that happen to you? Yes, I have had that happen to me. It's not fun. Sometimes it takes up to a week for them to adjust. And if you have if you have made public your release date to your fans or whatever, it's not it doesn't look good, you know, um to kind of have to you know, go back and forth with that. That's that's not cool. But yeah, it happens, you know, these these music distribution companies these companies aren't perfect, you know, they are still real human beings behind them majority of the time uh, doing this information. So, yes, that has happened. Contact your distributor, let them know uh, what happened. DistroKid just came out with this new uh, thing they have called the Fixer, which works really well. So I think it's all automated and I just had a problem the other day and I hit them up and they redirected me to the Fixer link and got it taken care of. So. Um, yeah, if it happens, just, you know, correct it. Next question on Instagram I have is, I have been putting my music out for 
less than a year and I'm wondering on how to market myself more and get myself out there. Yeah, that's definitely a, a question a lot of us have. Um, the main thing I would just say is consistency. You know, there's no, there. I think there's no, there's no more effective way than to spread the word about yourself than word of mouth is what people are saying about you. Um, so keep going. Uh, you know, that that's all I could tell you. There's so many ways these days you can get on and get and get noticed. But the number one way is to stay consistent and to have people be uh, spreading the word about you, you know. Uh, next question is still Instagram. Somebody DM me and said, what's more beneficial, a record deal or a distribution deal? Very good question. I feel like these days they're both beneficial. In the long run, it, it depends on how you structure your deal, but to answer your question, the distribution deal, of course, is more beneficial, meaning you get to keep 100% ownership of your masters. And if you have a following or you're building a following, uh, like the other guy was talking about, you're, you're working on your following, that could be really, really beneficial. All it takes is one hit to get going and it's over. But a record deal could also be beneficial. You are giving up. These days, labels do can do partnership deals where you co-own your master uh, with the label and it's a partnership, you know? So you can take advantage of their marketing department, their A&R department, uh, rollout strategy, tour support, and the list goes on and on, rather than most distribution companies will only handle just distribution. You have to market yourself and everything. So they're both beneficial. It's really just up to whatever you want to go with. And the last question I have from Instagram is, do you use copyright.gov to copyright music? Yes, I do. Uh, copyright.gov is the uh, US copyright site. I usually copyright my sound, my sound recordings and uh, Yes, yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple process. I'll probably do a separate YouTube video on that. And yeah, use copyright.gov. It's, it's, the, the, the reason why you do that is because if someone comes out and drops a song, it's so easy to drop a song through a distributor these days that you have to protect yourself. And the copyright office is for that protection. It's to say if somebody, they say on the copyright office, if you register a sound recording within the first three months and you would like to sue somebody uh, for plagiarism of using your, your song or anything like that, that they can pay your legal fees and something, I'll put it in the, the, the description. So not only do you get the protection of a lawsuit, but you get the protection of suing people it's, it's so beneficial. You definitely want to have your music registered and get that squared away immediately. I had a bunch more questions, but I'll save it for uh, another video once I, once I just start compiling more questions and it gets to the point where I have to make a video. Um, but please keep asking your questions. Follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash Jayhawk Productions. Once again, I'm just trying to help as many people as I can. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of help when I was getting into all this as a music producer and as an independent artist. So I hope I'm helping someone out there. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have even more questions to ask me. Let me know what you guys want me to, what you guys want to see from me more. Let me know. Subscribe. Turn your post notifications on for me. I'm going to be posting more. I'm going to try to get uh, these at two videos a week. So, man, please stay tuned and go to jackproductions.com for any updates, stay on my YouTube, and I hope I talked fast enough for some of you guys that say I'd be talking slow, you know, but I like to think about what I'm about to say. What's up with Twitter, yo? My Twitter is twitter.com slash official Jayhawk. I didn't get any questions on Twitter. Let me know on Twitter. I go up on Twitter too. All right, y'all have a good one though. All right.